All right, Gyarados, help me out here. Oh dear, uh, how do I get rid of the fire shield? Ooh boy. How's it going everybody? My name is Al and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's get into it. So all of you might have noticed that I'm not in Jubilife Village anymore. And the reason for that is because the previous episode where I fought Dialga, the only thing I had was the gameplay footage. So I didn't have any face cam or commentary. Luckily, surprisingly enough, despite me fighting the embodiment of time, not a whole lot actually happened in the episode, so here's a quick rundown. I fought Dialga, caught them in the Origin Ball, then me and Volo went on some archaeological digs. That's about it. Luckily I was already planning on continuing the series anyway, because after I caught Dialga, like, some credits rolled and it, like, showed a celebration and everything after I cleared the sky. It didn't do, like, the usual Pokémon thing, where it's like, Congratulations, you beat the story, now go catch every Pokémon. Instead, they actually seem to have a little bit extra story after you fight Dialga. So we're going to continue that story. And after help from Mistress Kogita, we have, uh, we have some more information that we can work with. It's just as I had suspected. Pokémon are the key to our search, Alley. If we can gather all the plates from them and decipher the messages on the back of the plates, at last, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go search for the Pokémon that Kogita mentioned, Alley. I have my own avenues of research that I'd like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all Hisui. I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokémon it might be. Alright, well, I assume he's doing lab work while I do field work, so here we go. Oh, hey, Commander. Did you need something? I've had a message from Mistress Kogita. I'm told you're collecting plates of some sort with the Merchant Volo. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. Okay, sure thing, Commander. Oh, wow. Jeez, Commander, what the frick? I came straight here. How did you have time to get into your armor? Prelude Beach. Indeed, a place of beginning. Now is not the time for words. Face me in battle. Okay, then. All right, is he gonna have the same Pokemon that he did on top of, uh, on top of Mount Coronet? Looks likely. Oh dear, ah, uh, no. Tysplosion's probably not the best idea to go against Golem. There we go, that's better. All right, there we go. <laughs> Crisis averted. <laughs> Snorlax. Okay, I don't think I have any fighting type moves, but I think I just gotta, I think I just gotta go for it. Let's do Outrage. Okay, okay, that did a decent amount of damage. Oh boy. Oh, but that did way more. Oh my goodness. Okay. Strong style Outrage it is. Hopefully it's enough, because I do know that Outrage is one of those moves that gets stronger if you use it in a row. Okay, good. Oh, boy. All right, who's next? Clefable. Uh-oh. Oh, dang it. Then there goes Garchomp. <laughs> Poison Jab. hoo Ooh, nice. Oh, dang damn it. <laughs> Freaking. All right, let's try that again, Gliscor. You stay in that health range, all right? Oh, perfect. There we go. That'll help. Oh, boy, that won't, though. All right, there we go. Jeez Louise, it's so annoying whenever, uh, whenever a trainer, whenever, like, you're battling a trainer, and you're like, yeah, that did a bunch of damage, and then you just see, uh, full restore or hyper potion or something along those lines. There we go. Alright, what was Kamado's last Pokemon? Heracross. Oh dear. Okay, there goes Luxray. Alright, well, Tysplosion should be able to finish it off. Flamethrower! And victory is mine. You've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Coronet. It's clear you do not view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, the commander had one of the plates I was looking for. When the very first of our galaxy expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others, set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly held some kind of power, and so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on this same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adamon, Erida, it'd appear we're all being guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. 
It might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. I know I've no right to say this, but we are truly fortunate to have been able to count you among the Survey Corps ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Coronet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now then, carry on with your survey work. The knowledge that you collect about the wild Pokémon of this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. Yes, sir. Okay, so yeah, that just leaves four more plates to find. Which, if I remember correctly, were on Firespit Island with the, the three Pokémon of the lakes. And the other two, I presently forget. Where were those? Hold on, let me check my, uh, my missions. Moonview Arena and the Snow Point Temple. Okay, there we go. Well, there is one plus side to me losing the, uh, footage of the previous episode. It gives me a chance to, to talk about Palkia and Dialga's origin forms. So, for those of you who haven't played this game, uh, Palkia and Dialga actually have, uh, two new forms specific to this game that act as, like, the, uh, the final boss before the credits roll. And I learned about this when I looked up, like, the, uh, the guide to what are the differences between picking Orida or Adamant to come with you to find the red chain. And basically they mentioned you would catch either Palkia or Dialga and then fight either Palkia or Dialga in their origin form. And obviously I didn't want to spoil it, so I, uh, didn't look up what those origin forms were. Hold on, I'll continue this conversation in a bit. I gotta talk to... Uh, Melly. I don't suppose a grunt like you would even know, but I guess it behooves me to ask. Do you know the Pokémon called Cresselia? I do, actually. Well, I figured you'd know. I wouldn't expect any less from someone who managed to defeat me, even if it was just a fluke. Melly, you really gotta rein in that ego, like seriously. Cresselia is said to be the very embodiment of the Crescent Moon. Her feathers are called lunar feathers, and legend says that if you hold one as you fall asleep, you'll be visited with wondrous dreams. Oh my. Well, I call her a nightmare, that pesky Cresselia. She's descended upon Moonview Arena and caused my lord to hide itself away. I'm so worried about Electrode that I can't even sleep, never mind dream. Think you might be able to catch Cresselia and perhaps even claim one of those lunar feathers? Oh, do catch that pesky flying croissant. Do it for my poor Electrode. Though I suppose Cresselia can't be all bad, if she at least recognizes the perfection of the arena looked after with loving care by the great Melly. Oh, boy. All right, let's go catch Cresselia. This is actually pretty cool, though. This is actually the first time I've seen Cresselia, like, all over the internet. This is the first time I've actually seen Cresselia in-game. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, Cresselia's making me loopy. Uh, okay, okay, there we go. I got her under control. Okay, so it looks like I can't catch Cresselia by just throwing a Pokeball at him. I gotta actually, uh, fight them. All right, now, Palkia, don't do too much damage. Just a little bit. Okay, that'll work. Now, what's Cresselia gonna do? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. It's super effective. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tank it, Palkia. Dang it. Okay, so what type of move is that Moon Blast? My best guess is probably Fairy type, given that Palkia is a Dragon type, so I don't think sending out Garchomp would be, uh, would be wise. Let's send out Tysplosion. Okay, let's see. Ooh, okay, that'll work. That'll work. Oh, boy. Okay, I, I was hoping that would at least put Cresselia in the red. Oh, dang it! Cresselia can heal itself! Alright, hit him with another hex explosion. Tag nabbit. Okay, there we go. Cresselia is now in the red. Oh, boy, but there goes explosion. Is this even going to work? Am I gonna have to do some level grinding before I can actually catch any of these Pokémon? Alright, come on, baby. Work with me here. This is totally not gonna work, is it? Holy crap, it actually worked! Never mind! Okay. I thought there was no way I was gonna catch Cresselia there, but I'll take it. I obtained the Dread Plate. I feel like a Pokémon that's supposed to, like, bring pleasant dreams would have, like, the Fairy Plate or something. Although I think I might have already actually gotten the Fairy Plate, so never mind. Well, well, this is unexpected. Instead of a Luna Feather, you got some kind of plate. I do feel power emanating from it, though. In any case, if Cresselia did not gift us with any of her feathers, then I suppose she thought we had no need for them. 
Not bad at all, Grunt. Though I suppose anyone with enough luck to best the great Melly should be able to handle at least that much. Thinking about it, a halfway competent person like you might actually make a decent sparring partner to help my lord and I grow stronger still. I will go back to the settlement and tell the others about the feathers. That we didn't get. Okay, one down, three to go. Uh, but anyway, back to my conversation about the, uh, origin forms. So obviously since I went with Orita, I caught Palkia, and by extension, fought Dialga in its origin form. And I gotta say, other than the giant goiter coming off its neck, Dialga's origin form is pretty cool. That being said though, uh, Palkia's, in my opinion, left something to be desired. <laughs> Basically what they did with Palkia was they made uh, was they made it a centaur kind of creature. You know, a quadruped with like a torso. But for some reason, they essentially deleted uh, Palkia's arms. Like it basically just has like the big like shoulder pads or whatever the heck they are. I cannot for the life of me think of why that would be a good design decision. It just, not only does it look weird, but it doesn't make even that much sense. In fact, somebody, I actually saw this while, uh, like during the episode when I looked up the pictures of Palkia's origin form, somebody actually made a version of uh, Palkia's origin form with arms, and it looked so much better. Like, just that one little change made it look so much cooler. I just can't think of a good reason why they wouldn't give them arms. That festival attended by everyone in the clans and the galaxy team alike. Oh, it was wonderful. Being able to spend time with Iskon in front of everyone was like a dream come true. Allie, Lena, uh, I'm sorry. Polina here has something she wants to discuss with you. That's right. You should also hear this, Orita. It seems something is once again very much amiss on Firespit Island. Well, what a coinky dink I just happened to be here to explore Firespit Island. Uh oh Firespit Island? Oh dear, you seem reluctant to get involved. It's just... very hot there. Uh, yeah, I guess it has been established that Erida very much prefers cold climates. I mean, she was in the Icelands wearing what essentially amounts to shorts and a tube top. So yeah. My, you speak in such disparaging terms of the seat that my lord, Arcanine, calls home. And to think, you call yourself our leader, Arita. No, Lena, I didn't... Oh, stop with that silly old nickname in front of others, won't you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. It's just an... an old habit. Well, anyway, you heard her. Please get to Firespit Island so we can resolve this. Truly, please hurry. I might melt out there. I guess we can just hop on Braviary and fly straight there, huh? Hello, Ali. Thank you for coming so far out of your way. Uh, Warden Iskan, wasn't Lena joining us? Uh, oh, yes, about that. Um, it seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she's asked us to check the Lava Dome Sanctum. Without her. What? The nerve of- She knows I can't stand sweltering places like this! I I'm sure she meant no ill will. The Warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. I anyway, Ali, shall we go? Might as well get this over with. Okay, so we found Cresselia at first. I'm betting this one's going to be Groudon. If not, probably Moltres or something similar. Well, whoever it is, it's got these two shocked. Oh, never mind, Heatran. Oh boy, what the frick is that cry? Go, go, bo, go, bo, 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 bo. <laughs> How the heck do you hear that roar that Heatran made and translate it to Guo Go Bo, Guo Bo 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 Bo? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we're right into it. Ah! Ah, boy. All right, Gyarados, help me out here. Oh dear. H how do I get rid of the fire shield? Ooh, boy. Okay, given the fact that this area is absolutely coated in balls of mud, I'm assuming that I have to use those somehow. <laughs> is this working? Is this working? Ah! Uh, doesn't appear to be. Oh, there we go. Uh, frick, Gyarados, get in there! Alright, now, Gyarados, don't kill them. Just take them down to an acceptable... Ooh, okay, there we go, that's good. Oh, dang it, there goes Gyarados. Alright, well, Palkia should be able to take a few hits from Heatran, given that they are, uh, given that they're, uh, water type. All right, come on, baby. Give me the same kind of luck that you gave me with Cresselia. Yes, perfect. You got the iron plate. 
So literally it's just a hunk of iron. Got it. Whew. At least the heat's let up a bit. With both Arcanine and Heatran spewing flames about on a volcanic island, it certainly does get a bit toasty. Warden Iskon, I have to ask, do you think there was any need at all for me to be here? Uh, well, um, yes, of course there was. After all, you are the leader of the Pearl Clan, and this trouble cropped up right around the seat of one of your clan's nobles. So, um, yes, it was surely best for you to come see to it. Admirable of you to look after your clan's affairs. <laughs> nice one, Iskon. Do you really think so? I was wondering if it might not be revenge for all the times I pushed Lena to train her Growlithe harder. Th th that's surely not the case. <laughs> Iskon's face is just like, oh boy, okay, I got a cover for my girlfriend, hold on. Even if Warden Polina may have mentioned something about the need for, um, tough love. I thought so. To think she was so patient and kind with Growlithe, but when it comes to me... Well, Ali, you did great. We'll, um, just head back ahead of you then. Oh boy, so Polina was screwing with, uh, with Irita. I guess, I guess we could already tell that by the fact that she stayed, like, outside of this volcanic cave, while at the same time making sure Irita went in. <laughs> Alright, well, I can only assume that, uh, that, uh, if I go to the Pokemon of the Lake, it's gonna be like a a similar situation to how it is in uh, Diamond and Pearl, where I have to like catch all three of them. So I think I'll first head to, uh, what was it, Snowpoint Temple, and potentially cut the episode there, and then in the next part, uh, deal with the Pokemon of the Lakes. And maybe in between parts do a little bit of level grinding, because the fact that all these legendaries are level 70 Makes me think that if there is a final boss at the end of this, which I suspect there might be, that they're going to be pretty high level. Oh my goodness. Okay, well I think I'm going to be fighting Reggie Gigas. Uh, but the question is, how do I open this door? <laughs> oh, wouldn't have expected to run into you up here, Allie. What are you up to? You're here to try and find the secrets lurking in Snowpoint Temple, aren't you? That's what my clairvoyance told me. You do tend to get... Wait, did they forget a word there? You do tend to get. <laughs> I think they forgot to put two. All right, well, I'll add it for them. You do tend to get mixed up in all kinds of strange goings on, Allie. This door here, well, let's say behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entirety of the continents that lie to the south. No matter what we do, this door just won't seem to open. Oh, okay, so they don't have any idea how to open it. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Oh. The stone plate, iron plate, and icicle plate you're carrying are reacting to the door. Oh. All right then. <laughs> that was easy enough. <laughs> the two of them back there are just like, what, seriously? For years we've been trying to open this thing and now it opens? I guess it wouldn't really surprise them too much given all the adventures I've been on over the course of this game. What awaits for me down here? There's a Glalie that's apparently been trapped under here. Oh, as well as a Graveler. Seriously, what do you two eat down here? Oh, there he is. Okay, so what type of Pokemon is, Reg is Regigigas? I assume ground type, but I'm not sure. What in time is that thing? It's colossal. It sure seems to be a Pokemon, but let's see what my clairvoyance has to say. Yup, definitely a Pokemon. I mean, Sabi, I could have told you that. My clairvoyance showed me a vision of it in motion. Okay, again, you don't need clairvoyance for that. I can see it moving right now. I, I know that psychics are usually, like, just real, real quacks, but that's a whole other level. I'll, I'll give her a pass because she's a little kid, but seriously. <laughs> okay, so none of Palkia's moves are super effective against Regigigas, but... None of them are uh, not very effective either, so we got that going for us at least. Let's use Earth Power and see what happens. Okay, okay, that was decent. Uh oh, oh, okay, okay. We don't. We already know what a Giga Impact from a Snorlax can do. We don't need it from a Legendary. All right, let's just keep using Earth Power and slowly just chip away at this thing. Uh oh. Ugh. Oh dear. Okay, you're fine, Palkia, you got this. Oh, there we go, there we go. I think one more ought to do her. 
Don't kill it. Dang it, no! That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, I haven't saved in a while. I'm not able to reset that, am I? Okay, okay, good. It, it gives me another chance. You must catch the Pokemon to battle once more. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that's probably why they made it, uh, at least from my perspective, seemingly guaranteed that you'd catch these ones, because under normal circumstances, it would take way more than one Ultra Ball to catch some of these legendaries. All right, let's try this again. Uh-oh. All right, okay, that's all right, that's all right. You can go ahead and, oh boy, keep using that. Maybe not so much that one, though. Stick with Iron Head, if you would. You know what, let's see how much damage Aqua Tail does. Ooh, okay, I'll take that. Ooh, okay, good job, Palkia. A Giga Impact would have destroyed Palkia there, so good job dodging it. Oh, yes, perfect, they're in the red. Oh boy, good night, Palkia. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, now, is anyone super effective against him? No one is. What the heck type is Regigigas? All right. All right, perfect. You obtained the the blank plate. <laughs> okay, well, we're supposed to find writing on it. If it's blank, that's not gonna help our expedition at all. All right, now, before we move on, I'm going to quickly look up uh, what type Regigigas is. Oh, <laughs> okay. Regigigas is just a normal type. <laughs> Oh boy, and I just read the uh, description of the blank plate. This stone tablet is Im imbued with the essence of normalcy. <laughs> I mean, I know normal types typically get a bad rap for being kind of boring, but that does not help. <laughs> there are some really cool normal types, like Snorlax is one of my favorites, but seriously, the essence of normalcy, what does that even mean? <laughs> Like, when I hear that, I just picture, like, the Pixies from Fairly Odd Parents. Now, that was one solid Pokémon. Like a giant born of the very Earth. I guess this is just part of your job with the Survey Corps, huh? What kind of Pokémon is the one you just caught, Allie? A uh, normal type. I actually just looked it up on my, uh, Arc phone, I guess. I can't wait to see in the Pokédex when it's done. Yeah, I'm pretty curious to read everything Mr. Professor writes up, too. See you, Allie. We should do another chase sometime. All right, so that just leaves one more plate to find, which apparently can be found with the three lake Pokemon. But I think we will save that for the next part. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share this video with your friends. And if you want to stay up to date on future videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya!